Oh no. The zombies. Bad zombie. Bad zombie. Bad zombie. Hey everyone, I'm Grandma Witch. I am here to tell you that there is a way to get your model into best game, Seven Days to Die. So apparently, found over here, well, actually, as you can find on the Nexus mod, but you can get your Vroid model or any VRM actually, I think, into uh, Seven Days to Die. So first you're going to need this mod here. Uh, you can just create a, um, a profile and download it for free. Um, and then if you want to use your own custom one instead of using one of the three default ones, you're going to need to download Unity. And you're going to need Unity 21.3.19. Yes. Um, and then once you get that, you're going to... I think you can use later as well. Like, this is going to be bounced all over the place. But uh, you're going to do uh, create a 3D project. And you're just going to let this do its dangest thing and come up. Now, while that is doing its thing, my jing jing, my jing jing jing, you're gonna see a file that kind of looks like this. It's gonna say alter vroid plugin. In fact, I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit like this so you can kind of see that. And uh, we're going to need to unzip this file, or it's actually going to be an RAR file. But if you don't know, RAR files are pretty similar to zip files, and you can download. Win RAR in order to unzip it. Win RAR is a free, free program. It's going to ask you to buy it, but it'll never in insist. You know, you can just say no, maybe later, right? So, when you open it, you're going to see a. Ooh, get out of here. See, like I said, you're going to see a file like this. It's going to say Alter Vroid plugin. Inside, you're going to see a bunch of these things. But don't worry about that. We're going to just stick with this one right now. Um, now you're going to go into where seven days to die is. Now, if you don't know how to get into your seven days to die folder, well, look over here. This is my thing. Um, also don't friend me. I'm not going to accept your friend request. So I'll block you, but go over here and hit properties, right? Click hit properties. All right. And then you're going to, uh, come over to the side and you're going to hit, but they don't the browse and then it's going to pop up wow that was super quick why was it so quick because magic but anyways it's going to pop up over here and then you're going to get something it's going to be something like your steam app common and then seven days to die now in here we're going to create a new folder if you have no mods already and we're going to go mods and i'm going to do a capital n i recommend you do a capital m why do i recommend you to do a capital m because i am doing a capital m and then you hit enter does this matter? It might, might not. I don't know. But when you open this up, you're then going to take the stuff from here, this alter, Vroid, whatever, and you're just going to drag it directly in here. All right, and it should be, so when you're in seven days to die, it should be mods, and then you have this alter, Vroid plugin, and then you have this. Now, this right here is what you're going to need in unit. You know what? We can close this out. We don't need you anymore. Pew, pew you out because we don't need you anymore right now we'll need you later but we now have no we're gonna skip that we now have this right okay perfect now in your seven days to die folder that you just unzipped you're going to see this you're gonna drag this into the assets area okay and once you do this thing's going to pop up on the side and you're just gonna hit import Okay, there's other ways to import assets in here. In fact, you, I think it's like file or edit you can go into and import assets or import asset package. And then you can just grab it that way. This way is so much simpler. Now let this do its business. And like, we don't want to bother this while it's doing its thing. Now we're going to need this in just a second. So I'm just going to set it aside for now. And instead, I'm going to open up where I can uh, find my model right so let's go over to, to do where i keep my models now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your model file uh, all right so you're going to grab your model file and you see where it says avatars right here you're just going to drag it and drop it right into it just like right on top of it and now it's going to do its thing thing it's going to import it it might not like you trying to touch this window, but just let it do its thing, okay? It's Unity. Unity knows what it's doing, baby. 
But yeah, so you're going to drag it and drop it into this folder. And now what it's doing is basically converting everything perfectly in order to um, fit your needs for this game. It's converting it into exactly the file it needs. Now, partially on the way there, it's going to ask you if you would like to upload it so others can see it. And if you're playing on a multiplayer, you're going to want to hit yes. So see right here? You want to upload the avatar to catbox.moe so other players can see it without needing to share it with them. Absolutely. Yes. Upload. Please upload. This isn't allowing other people to download your thing. This is allowing it so people can see you when you multiplayer. Um, and they have to have the mod also installed. But yeah. And then you just let it do this. This could take up to like five minutes. I've had like this go crazy long because I have one big gosh darn models, right? So let it do its thing. It'll let you know when it's done. I will say that really heavily edited models are not super liked by this program. In fact, if you have items that are hidden, like to switch clothes and stuff, all of those are going to be shown, and it also tends to fall, uh, come up with errors as well. So be warned. I am not going to be helping you down in the comment section on how to fix these errors. Like, oh, my model didn't show up. My model's full blood. Well, do it again. Fix your model and do it again. Like, I don't know. Like, shit happened. Figure it out. I don't know the answer. <laughs> All right. Now that that's happened, the second one down, like you can see in the assets, you have converted. If you click it, you'll see this, you have this Wendy's converted. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either just, um, when you're over here on your seven days to die, you can grab the avatars and you'll see three samples. You can either grab it directly from Unity and drop it into there. Whoops, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this. And drag it directly into there. Or... If you want, I think you can just go over into show and explore, right click and show and explore. It's going to pop up and show it right there, but bam, and you can just drag and drop that one, not the meta, just the regular one, right into your avatars folder from seven days to die. Now at this point, you pretty much Gucci to go, but let me show you what it looks like. And at this point, you gotta open up your game. You're seven days to die. Now, seven days to die comes with this easy TM, anti-cheat. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But once it starts up, there's a good chance it's gonna ask you to restart disabling that. Yes, see right here? Anti-cheat is incompatible with mods. So we're gonna just hit okay and it's going to restart it. And let's load up into a game. This is a game that I've already had going, that I was playing in my Discord with people. I sometimes play this game in my Discord. I sometimes play this game with friends. I sometimes play this on stream. I like this game. I like this game a lot. I have made a little video on why this is best game. We call it best game because it is a janky ass motherfucking game that's been an alpha for almost a decade this December. Once you load into the game, there's a good chance your character may or may not have already converted over. More like it may not have, but if it hasn't, that's fine. You're gonna go into the menu. Uh, it is tab on the PC controls. I don't know what they're on the um, controller controls. You're gonna go over into your character and you're going to see your models over here. Now I sneakily added some other models in there, including my giant ass Minecraft model because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> but this is the one we converted. Wowee, look at that. You still have the same hit range regardless of whichever one you're using. Now you can use your character in third party mode and run around and i'm sorry it's so dark i don't feel like waiting for it to load up because it's only like one in the morning uh but you're gonna see the radical it's pretty much works a lot like if you're first person but the character's there now some characters might have a lot of shit in their way like coffee here coffee has her big ass wings in the way so you might not want to use it in this particular mode and all you have to do is hit the alt button and now you're in the first person mode. 
Uh, when you do switch your character, it is going to go back into third. You just hit that alt again, and then, yeah. And now you're ready to be your Minecrafty self with a gun. Bam! And now you're ready to play with your friends. And yes, your friends do show up. I don't have any friends on right now to show you that part because I'm recording this in the wee hours of the morning. By wee hours, I mean at 8 in the morning. And my friends are night owls or busy. So, yep, that's, that's how you get your your model into best bestest game so you can play with your friends and then you could be anime peoples or minecraft peoples running around doing whatever you want to do and i like this model because it's redonkulous let's go find a zombie to kill the zombies bad zombie bad zombie bad zombie Bad zombie. Bad zombie. Bad zombie. Bad. Yeah. Real life Minecraft looking great, boys. Let's go. Okay, but that's that's it. That that's it. Okay, that's it. That's that's it for my tutorial. I don't have fucking else anything else to say. Okay, use this. You know what? Show me when you do. Tag me on Twitter or something, or follow me on Twitter. You know what? Fuck Twitter. I don't like Twitter. Don't follow me there. Come follow me over on uh, on Twitch. I play Seven Days to Die sometimes over there. In fact, I have a collab coming up in July 2003, whenever the fuck you're watching this. And maybe sometime in the future. Come watch me play some Seven Days to Die. Alright. Appreciate you guys. Watch some of my other videos. Give me some views. Okay, bye.